In the world of Rainbow Six Siege, picking Thermite is the equivalent of Hannibal swaggering over the Italian Alps with a bunch of fucking elephants, to the surprise of the poor Roman legionaries who tried to figure out what the fuck they are witnessing. Most defenders, after reinforcing a wall, consider it to be one of the only areas safe from getting one tapped by a player peeking 300 meters away, but Thermite couldn't give less of a fuck about these false notions of security, because in his mind, he need only to look toward the guiding hand of greater men to know what he must do. And then one day God put me upon this earth to open up massive holes in this bitch. And I did. Thermite can be armed with either the 556 assault rifle or shotgun.jpg. The choice is really down to how much you want to suffer, so Dark Souls enthusiasts should go with a shotgun without attachments, and those with any sense of self-respect should just stick with the 556 with an ACOG scope. The secondary is also up to personal preference, but equipping a silencer will allow you to take out cameras without alerting all of China. Any Chad Thermite main will also tell you that the Claymore can save you more times than your terrible aim. So parking one in your picnic basket is highly advised. Thermite's most distinctive feature is his ability to make walls open up more than your grandfather who served in Vietnam, regardless of if they've been reinforced. If those pesky defenders attempt to use Wi-Fi routers or electricity to stop your glorious breach, just cyber bully your friend onto Thatcher and make those idiots entirely redundant. The trick is to have them throw the EMP grenade as you're already planting the breach on the electrified wall, giving them zero time to react to your well-coordinated plan. With any luck, the other team will still be trying to bandit trick your entry and will be killed by the almighty power of your explosive doorbell. Although, if the Thatcher on your team isn't fast enough with his EMP, it will instead create a more destructive breach, a breach of trust, which will ultimately spiral out of control until your team is left with nothing but memories of a better time, taunting you day after day of what could have been. Although, opening up a big fuck off hole is nice, players often lose sight of the end goal of the round, and why an attacking team even wants to open up a wall in the first place. A round in Rainbow Six Siege is won by either completing or denying an objective, or by murdering every member of the opposite team. Opening up a hole will often aid in this endeavor, but simply murdering people will accomplish the same task more directly. This clip highlights the importance of game sense and how powerful it can be to not just become proficient in mechanical skill, but to also understand the mindset of a defender, which will allow you to predict their actions and even manipulate them to your own game. In general, defenders who are in a room when it's being breached will assume that very shortly after the explosion, they are likely to be peaked from this now hugely exposed angle. It's just not possible for a defending player to not identify a breached wall as the most immediate threat to their safety. This is why, with a bit of pre-planning, players can use a breach as a distraction and find a real window of opportunity to show enemy players the error of their ways. Even having a breach on any one of the other entrances during the last few moments of a round will be beneficial, as once again, the end goal is not to simply open up a point and spook them, but to use the extremely loud and telegraphed explosion to draw attention away from your other malicious intentions. Players who really want to lean into this philosophy can take a silencer with them, but for this purpose, you'll likely find it less beneficial than signing Italy as an ally during a world war. The last strategy that seems to go against the thermite code is to place breaches on regular walls, doors, and windows. Don't let this prideful thinking get in the way of an easy win, as in the military, there's an old saying, if it looks stupid, but works, it isn't stupid. So let everyone else in the lobby tell you how terrible your strategy is, while they're looking up to you in the scoreboard. This concludes today's guide on how to get good at thermite. I'm not going to waste your time, so any interesting links I have will be in the description. Outro. Sunday morning rain is falling. Still some cover share some skin. Felt a shroud in us in moments unforgettable. You twist and fit the mode that I am in.